Hey guys, this is Anam from Delicious and DIY and I am back today with a fun DIY bench makeover. I've actually given this bench a makeover before. If you hop on over to my blog, you'll see the whole tutorial and it looked pretty good. I mean, I've used it for almost two years now. It's held up pretty well and I've just kept it outside on my balcony. And of course, you know, with the weather, the sunshine, the dust and everything is the reason why it looks like this today. But I obviously know with a little bit of paint and some DIY, it's going to be completely transformed. My inspiration for this makeover was this beautiful wall art, which I found on the Anthropology website. The design seemed pretty straightforward. It was like an abstract flowers, leaves, which I really wanted to recreate on this bench. As much as I loved the original color of the legs, which was a silver gray color, I decided I wanted to switch it up and, you know, turn it into a different color. But first I needed to remove the legs of the bench and I did that by using my power tool. I decided on using this metallic rust-oleum golden spray paint. I really love the finish of the spray paint. It gives it a very nice shiny golden finish that I love. I spray paint in a well-ventilated area and whenever you start spray painting, first of all wipe off the object, for instance in this case the legs, wipe it clean so there's no dust particles or anything and then gently start spray painting. Give it a few light coats and you can always go back in and give it more coats to, you know, give it like fuller coverage. While the legs of the bench were drying, I decided to actually start the painting process. I went with two lavender colors and one gray color. The paint that I'm actually using is a multi-surface paint, so it's actually great to be used on an outdoor bench. I poured out the paints on a disposable plate so you know I could easily mix the colors together and then I can start painting the bench. I would have loved to sand down the bench first, but I didn't have any sandpaper on hand. So I just wiped it off clean and then just directly started painting the bench. This part went by really quickly. I gave the bench a total of two coats. It honestly didn't really need two coats. I had leftover paint and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I decided, you know, let's just give it two complete coats. I made sure all the corners, the sides of the benches were fully coated with the paint and then I just let it dry for a few hours before I went on to the next step. Honestly, just spray painting the legs golden and painting the top of the bench made such a difference. I mean, look at the before, how dull and boring it looks, and look at it now. I already love it. The design that I showed you guys had a bunch of abstract flowers and leaves, 
and before I decided to paint the actual bench I wanted to use a pencil and design and draw the abstract flowers just so you know I know where the leaves are gonna go where the flowers were gonna go and then I jumped into the actual painting process for the abstract flowers I chose a mix of red and a raspberry colored paint and just went in and started filling out the design that I had already penciled and drew out on the bench. It was pretty straightforward. I just had to color in just like you would color in a coloring book. And that was it. I would highly recommend drawing out the design beforehand because it made this part such a breeze. It was honestly a lot of fun just filling out and coloring in with the paint. What I also found made this process go by really, really quickly was to outline the design first with like a thin paintbrush and then fill out that design with a fluffy round brush. Painting the flowers took some time, but the rest of the process was a breeze. I chose a mix of dark blue color and light blue color for the leaf portion of the design. Then I went ahead and filled out all the leaves that I had drawn out on the bench. When the leaves were all painted and complete, it was time to make the flowers actually look like flowers. I used black paint for this part, but obviously you could use any other color. You could go with white, even yellow, whatever color suits you. Or you could even go with like a neutral tone, like, you know, a beige or a gray. And for this final part of the painting process, 
I used this light pink color and beige color to create really small circular shaped flowers. And that was it. That was the last part of the design and the painting process of the bench. After that, I just had to reattach the freshly spray painted golden legs. And that was it. The bench was finally complete. Time for the big reveal. Hope you guys like this project and if you did be sure to subscribe like and turn on the post notification the supplies and materials that i used on this project i will list it down in the description box as well and i will see you guys next week with a brand new project bye guys